Um, but why am I here? Why, why am I relevant? I do a couple web shows, one called Investing in Cannabis, which is all about early stage investing in the cannabis industry. The second one is called Infused. That's a documentary series all about how cannabis gets normalized. So the cannabis industry increasingly is segmented. So there's not just stoners on their couch today. There's all different types of categories. Uh, and I wonder when you think about marketing uh, more broadly, um, what's your ideal customer? I mean, who are you going after? Who are you targeting? Yeah, um, anybody that's looking for good cannabis. I mean, not exactly whole, the I mean, answer. This is like for. the DMV. Everyone kind of smokes. And, um, you know, our, our ideal customer is someone that cares about a little bit more attention and selection. Um, so the dispensaries that we work with, they have a, a pretty wide variety of choices. Um, yeah, and I think design. You know, people like to look at things that are pretty and have good UI and good UX. Zach? I would think the broad base of uh, California would be our target audience. Um, we certainly uh, offer fantastic products. That's why our reviews stay five stars for all uh, 30 of our different locations. So essentially, um, I, I think uh, retention and um, uh, your products being essentially fantastic is, is key to uh, essentially having a fantastic cannabis business. Since we, we have a lot of years of data, and what we learned after crunching that data is about 40% of our patient base is female. And 20 to 25% of our patient base is over 55. So we spend a lot of energy in marketing toward, toward women, professional women, toward the senior set. Uh, these are the people who have the money in the household, and those they make great customers, great clients. Uh, that's kind of who we target. We accept, I want to say we accept everybody. That's not true. We accept one out of every three applicants, but we tend to target affluent women and people who are a little older. Yeah, for us, it's, it's definitely shifting. I think, um, obviously, going into recreational sales next year, we're certainly changing who our target customer is. So right now, you know, it's people who have sort of already made the decision um, because they were the ones that went and proactively went and got a medical recommendation. So when you think about, well, the, the market that's coming next year are really people who didn't do that, right? And really in California, it's, it's, it's not a big hurdle to get um, a medical recommendation. And so, you know, you got to think the, the type of people who that was too much, that was too much friction for them. So, you know, one of the things we're always thinking about is, well, how do we do, reduce the friction of coming into the market? So, you know, we're really starting to target um, users for us that actually don't use cannabis at all. Um, so that, you know, when we think about some of our marketing campaigns, um, you know, right now it's very focused on deals, best deals, fast delivery. You know, that's really just like kind of like, you know, use us, don't use the other guy. But it's really targeted for people who are already in the market. Um, next year, we're really going to be shifting our messaging um, and everything to be really targeting people. Um, and it's really the message will be about try cannabis, right? Rather than try ease or try this specific service or try this specific dispensary. It's really going to try to take a much broader message and help you with those things.